Uh, thank you, Steve. Uh, my name is Ryo Shimano, and uh, first, uh, well, uh, I'd like to thank the organizers for inviting me to this uh, M School S. It is my great pleasure to be here in person after this uh, uh, strange period. And uh, I'm going, going to talk about the Higgs mode. Uh, this is a Higgs uh, mode session. And, uh, okay. So uh, it is fascinating that uh, the, there is a common physics uh, between this uh, uh, table scale and uh, the Higgs mode is a mirror electron volt scale, typically. And uh, this is uh, uh, described by this uh, Mexican hat uh, potential. But uh, to make the uh, long story short, I skip all the historical uh, background. Uh, and they please refer to this uh, a uh, review paper by uh, Peck and Barma for this uh, uh, long story. And instead, uh, let me focus on the uh, rather recent uh, research uh, on the, uh, done mostly on the terahertz uh, uh, probe. So in the first part, I would like to uh, introduce the Higgs mode uh, uh, as an overview, as a rather overview, I would like to introduce the Higgs mode in superconductors. Uh, there are three ways to uh, excite uh, the Higgs mode. One is a quench, as a pre uh, previous speaker taught. And the second one is a drive. And the third one is a supercurrent uh, injected. And then uh, I'd like to uh, 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 talk about uh, uh, some progress on the understanding of the right Higgs interaction. And I'd like to uh, give some emphasis on the uh, paramagnetic coupling of Higgs to the right by non-magnetic impurities. And I will give some a short over, uh, perspective of the uh, so-called uh, Higgs spectroscopy. And then I uh, switch to the uh, uh, new direction of this uh, Higgs mode study to the non-equilibrium. Okay, here are my collaborators, my group members, and also uh, I thank the uh, Naoto Tsuji and the, uh, Professor Aoki for theoretical uh, collaboration. And uh, we have many collaborators, uh, or, or this was the one too, in the uh, Young Girls group in Paris, and the YBCO, uh, Esetsuko Tajima's group in Osaka University, Iron Best Superconductor with uh, Maeda uh, group in the University of Tokyo. And also we have a collaboration with uh, uh, this Max Planck group, uh, uh, Stefan Kaiser and uh, uh, Dirk Marske, and uh, this uh, Max Planck ABC Tokyo Center uh, quantum materials. Okay. So first uh, 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 experiment uh, was done by this uh, uh, terahertz quench. So in this case, uh, we use a, a single cycle terahertz pulse to quench the superconductivity. Then uh, after the quench, uh, you can see this uh, uh, oscillation. This is kind of a free, so, uh, sort of a free action decay of the Higgs mode. And it's increasing the uh, uh, quench magnitude. This oscillation becomes slower and slower because this uh, quench uh, goes to the, uh, the infinite value of the order parameter becomes smaller and smaller. This is already uh, about 10 years ago. And then uh, uh, here you can see some uh, uh, instantaneous signal that follows this uh, uh, excitation pulse. This is not uh, uh, oscillation. And this part can be more clarified by this uh, multi-cycle excitation. So instead of a single cycle, we use this multi-cycle with a photon energy smaller than the two delta. So surprisingly, at low temperature, where the photon energy is much slower than the two delta, still we have some uh, signal here. And this oscillation is twice the incident frequency omega. So this is a two omega oscillation. So this is the driving of a superconductivity anyway. So what is uh, happening here? So it turns out that uh, when this uh, two omega oscillation is induced here, at the same time, uh, we can see the third harmonic generation below TC. This is the incident, and the below TC, uh, three omega component jumps up. And if we tune the temperature uh, with fixing this uh, frequency, you can see this uh, uh, resonant peak at the two omega equal two delta. Um, uh, to have this one, you have to normalize this uh, 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 third harmonic intensity by the 
other parameter. But anyway, uh, in any frequency, incident frequency, you can see that this two omega equal two delta uh, resonance. And it, turn, it turns out that uh, this is a uh, Higgs mode uh, resonance. That means that Higgs mode uh, couples with the radiation field in the two photon process. So this is also uh, uh, similar to the case of a Higgs, bo Higgs boson in uh, particle physics. And in the uh, Ginzburlander picture, uh, in the free energy, uh, you can, uh, here we write down the uh, free energy. And after the local gauge transformation, the, this phase mode is gone. And here is a massive gauge boson. But if we go uh, higher order, you can see this A square H term. This gives the uh, nonlinear coupling with the Higgs mode to the uh, gauge photon. So this is a very simplified picture. But uh, I explained this uh, two, omega cup, uh, two photon coupling with the Higgs mode. But uh, uh, here, but uh, uh, after that, uh, there is a long uh, uh, discussion with the uh, uh, Lara's group, and uh, Lara, Lara pointed uh, uh, Lara here. Uh, she pointed out that uh, there is a contribution of the quasi particle that uh, because the, the energy of two delta is exactly coincide with the uh, uh, quasi particle excitation. And in the current limit BCS uh, model, this uh, quasi particle contribution is much larger than the Higgs. And so, but uh, at the same time, uh, she pointed out a very important uh, 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 aspect that in the case of a quasi particle, it's uh, highly uh, polarization dependent or, or with respect to the crystal axis. <laughs> So we have to, uh, we try to check the how, how large the uh, quasi particle and the Higgs uh, contribute contribute to the, this uh, subatomic generation. And uh, the, to do that, we have uh, measured the uh, polarization dependence. So this red curve is the uh, uh, parallel uh, uh, polarization with the incident and the uh, output THG. But here uh, in the orthogonal component, we don't see any signal in the THG component. Uh, this is a uh, uh, contradict with a uh, quasi particle uh, case, and uh, this Higgs, uh, this sort of harmonic is totally isotropic in the case of nibium nitride. So this is uh, uh, rather puzzling in the theoretical point of view because uh, experimental data uh, looks like it's a Higgs, but uh, uh, this is model predict the quasi particle should be much larger. So after all, uh, it turns out that the, uh, the, in the dirty limit superconductors, the uh, uh, paramagnetic coupling here, P dot A, is important. And that is uh, overlooked in previously. So, so far, the, uh, this uh, A square term, uh, diamagnetic coupling was considered. But if there, are, there is an impurity that, that assists this paramagnetic coupling term, and this uh, significantly enhances the contribution of Higgs, like this one. And uh, uh, this was uh, pointed by this uh, uh, paper in 2018. And we also confirmed this uh, 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 paramagnetic coupling in the uh, Mattis-Bardin model, and also in the Green function, uh, Green function uh, technique. And this is uh, our calculation in the uh, density matrix uh, method. And indeed, when the uh, scattering gamma is uh, comparable to the two delta, this uh, subharmonic generation uh, by the Higgs is largely enhanced. And this, this is a more rigorous calculation uh, with using the uh, band structure of the nibium nitrate. And in the larger uh, scattering uh, region, Higgs more uh, dominates the quasi particle. And this is uh, more uh, uh, rigorously uh, confirmed in the gauge invariant uh, theory. And so now I think you know, we have a consensus in the uh, expert that in the case of a single band, uh, that limits superconductors, the Higgs mode can dominate the quasi particle. And this is a third uh, protocol to excite the Higgs mode. So instead of the two omega, we can replace this one, the DC current. But still we can have uh, this uh, A square coupling. This is, uh, uh, but say this is a paramagnetic. So by uh, uh, introducing the, the supercurrent to the uh, uh, superconductor, we can see the, this uh, uh, peak induced by supercurrent at the uh, uh, gap edge two delta. Without a pump probe, this is a linear uh, measurement, a linear optical conductivity measurement. And by increasing the supercurrent, this uh, peak uh, increases. 
So this is a, uh, even quantitatively agrees with uh, this uh, theoretical prediction of this uh, uh, effect. So this is a third protocol to excite the Higgs mode by uh, supercurrent. Okay, so now uh, we can step into the uh, D-wave case. So in the uh, uh, Barras and Barma pointed that in the case of a D-wave, uh, uh, one can expect a severe uh, corrective mode. Of course, in the, in, in the one D-wave uh, uh, pairing uh, channel, uh, the symmetry breaking is only for U1, so we, we, can, we can accept only one Higgs mode. But if there is a subdominant pairing channel, uh, we can expect uh, four or Higgs mode. So why uh, we don't try this one? So this is a case of, of the Bismuth 212. So in, instead of a TP, uh, terrace pump, terrace probe, here we adopted terrace pump and optical probe. And under the uh, terrace uh, driving, you can see this uh, two omega, uh, not yeah, two, it's a sort of two omega oscillation in the uh, order uh, responsible optical probe. This is uh, similar to the case of nitride na nitride with multi-cycle uh, terrace pulse. And uh, uh, we, uh, and let me scale over the details. And this signal uh, jumps up at below TC. And this uh, component has a, a, a A1G total isotropic and also some B1G component. And uh, B1G uh, component could be the uh, Higgs mode, as uh, Barma uh, predicted, but uh, there's no uh, uh, signal of the, uh, for example, the S wave appearing in this uh, D wave system. So this is. Uh, Hard to, uh, hard to attribute this one to the Higgs mode. So this uh, is uh, uh, most likely the cause particle effect. But how about A1G? So we measure the doping dependence of A1G uh, uh, and B1G. So uh, in, uh, in the opposite to the case of Raman, the, always the A1G is uh, uh, larger than the B1G. So this is uh, different from the Raman uh, process. So from this one, we uh, interpreted this is a Higgs mode. And uh, theoretically, only recently, there is a, a, a study of this uh, D-wave Higgs mode uh, from uh, uh, Musk -Dick, uh, Dick Musk's group and also Arara's group. And by introducing the, uh, uh, this uh, 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 disorder in the Hubbard model, uh, depending on the uh, ma uh, uh, magnitude of this order, the Higgs contribution can indeed uh, give this uh, signal. But of course, uh, it's uh, uh, important to identify how large this uh, disorder is uh, existing in their uh, system. So the, this is a remaining subject that the how, how large this uh, Higgs mode and all the particle contribute to the, in the case of D-wave system. So this is some summary of the uh, uh, so far reported uh, observation of the Higgs mode. In, in the, now, uh, uh, it's extending to the variety of the uh, superconductor, as he listed here. Uh, S-wave uh, case is a uh, uh, most likely Higgs mode, but now uh, the, uh, papers are appearing on the uh, multiband ion-based superconductor and also Q plate. So in the case of uh, multiband, it's more complicated. So uh, one can expect Higgs and the quasi particle and the regular mode, or even the Baldassi schrieffer mode that appears in the case of a uh, uh, subdominant pairing channel. So it's important to uh, classify uh, how, how large this uh, uh, contribution uh, indeed exists for uh, terrestrial nonlinear optics. And also for d case, uh, we, from such a uh, doping dependence, we uh, interpreted Higgs mode uh, can indeed contribute to the uh, sudden uh, generation. But again, uh, it's important to uh, quantitatively uh, identify each contribution. And this is, I think, a uh, uh, remaining subject but uh, I think this is still uh, very important because, the, for example, uh, this uh, uh, probe can be extended to study the more exotic order parameter, including the uh, time reversal symmetry breaking or uh, non-central symmetric uh, superconductor. So in that case, uh, uh, in the, uh, from the spectroscopic point of view, you can expect a new mode in, uh, below two delta. And from that, uh, you can uh, say uh, something about the uh, symmetry of order parameter. Uh, for example, in the S plus ID, uh, this is from Nalan group, uh, below two delta. This is not necessarily Higgs mode, but it uh, can be uh, identified as a kind of phase mode, but uh, still we can see, you can see the, some uh, characteristic mode. So 
So what I would like to uh, emphasize is that this uh, low energy uh, telespectroscopy P can be a new uh, probe for this uh, 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 exotic superconductor. So this is uh, a new perspective. But uh, uh, to do that, uh, we have to uh, uh, distinguish or identify each contribution of the uh, cosy particle or any other uh, collective mode. So this is, uh, uh, I think, a remaining subject. And now uh, let me step into the uh, uh, non-equilibrium. As uh, uh, Andrea Cabarelli shows, this is a fascinating uh, subject of the photo-induced superconductivity. This, this is the case for the YBCO. So why we not, uh, don't we try this, this uh, phenomena uh, to, stud to study it by Higgs mode, as the previous speaker done? So uh, first we repeated this uh, Andrea's experiment by uh, uh, optical pump and a terrace probe. So this, so this is the YBCO in the underdope, and we, uh, this is equilibrium. So we see the uh, Josephson plasma uh, uh, resonance. Then uh, below TC, this, uh, after the excitation, it's red shifted, so uh, it's a uh, suppression of superconductivity. But above TC, uh, we can see this one over, one over omega uh, response in the sigma 2, uh, totally reproducing this uh, and the result. Here, this is the imaginary part, uh, the real part. And after one picosecond, it turns to the more or less Drude-like behavior. So this is the Higgs more uh, superconductivity or not. And uh, then we, we tried the, uh, uh, this uh, terrace probe, but uh, uh, Higgs mode measurement. But here, uh, the polarization, pump wavelength dependence uh, shows that uh, even for 800 nanometer pumping or 1.5 nanometer uh, micrometer pumping, we can see the uh, one omega, over omega response. So this is not so sensitive to the uh, excitation wavelengths, but uh, probably different from the uh, physics that can be observed in the phonon pumping in the 50 micron excitation. But anyway, uh, we see this uh, one omega, omega response here. Okay, so let, uh, let, let me try this uh, to uh, look at the response of the uh, Higgs mode. So like the Bismuth 221 case, we can uh, uh, apply this uh, TPOP measurement in the YBCO. So this is a, a kind of equilibrium without optical pump. So below TC, we see this signal. One is a, a two omega-like oscillation. It's not so evident here, but there is some. And also followed by this quasi particle excitation. Then uh, we uh, introduced the uh, uh, optical pump to induce a superconductivity here. So if uh, this pump induced the superconductivity, this uh, TPOP signal should increase. On the other hand, if it uh, uh, suppresses the superconductivity, this super, uh, TPOP signal should uh, decrease. And below TC, this is uh, uh, without pump, and this is uh, with pump. So uh, after the pump, this uh, TPOP signal uh, disappears. So this means that our, uh, optical pump uh, totally uh, suppresses the uh, superconductivity. The important point is that uh, this way we can get rid of this penetration depth mismatch problem. And then uh, this is uh, above TC result. So uh, after the pump, here, uh, this is a weather pump, and uh, below TC. And even about TC, we don't see any signal appearing um, after the optical pump. So this uh, uh, means that there's no uh, Higgs mode or no uh, quasi particle excitation is a photo-induced state. But uh, I would like to say this is, uh, is might be different from the uh, phonon pumping in the uh, 50 micron. So recently, this group uh, present, uh, published a very interesting paper. Uh, it's a uh, parametric amplification of the justice and plasma by this uh, phonon pumping. But here, we're using near-infrared uh, optical pass. It's far off resonant from the phonon, so it's not likely to attribute this one for the uh, 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 parametric amplification. But still, I think it's very uh, interesting because the, if it is not a superconductivity, why it is so coherent? This is a spectrum. So this is, even if it's drude like the scattering rate is too small in the order of uh, less than one, uh, one terahertz. So uh, this is a YBCO, and uh, if we inject the optical uh, excitation in the near infrared, Still, we have such a very narrow response. This must be the uh, uh, charge carrier response, but this uh, charge carrier has a very coherent uh, pro uh, property along C-axis. So this is a highly non-trivial. 
But uh, this signal uh, sustains up to this high temperature uh, T star. So this might be uh, related to the pseudo gap phenomena, but uh, this is an uh, open question at the moment. So I, I will leave this as an open uh, problem. So at the uh, last uh, two slides, uh, let me introduce the uh, result of the uh, iron based sparking factor. So, like the uh, niobium nitride, we see the uh, sodium generation in this iron based superconductor, uh, this one, iron selenide telluride. Uh, this is almost a S wave like, S plus minus or S plus plus. Uh, anyway, uh, we can see the uh, uh, sodium generation that uh, uh, appears below TC. So, after optical pumping uh, here, uh, very interestingly, this sodium generation uh, enhances. So uh, if this harmonic generation is an indicator of the superconducting order parameter, this uh, naively uh, suggests that the order parameter is enhanced. But we don't have a microscopic uh, understanding of this phenomena. So this could be the, some uh, properties of Higgs mode or, or, or some uh, nature of the corrective mode. But anyway, this is a new direction of this uh, uh, Higgs mode spectroscopy to study the uh, non-equilibrium response in the superconductor. So let me summarize my talk. So in the first part, I uh, give some uh, overview of the Higgs mode. So we have uh, three uh, methods to excite a Higgs mode, quench, drive, and supercurrent. And uh, I emphasize the crit critical, uh, crucial role of, of the paramagnetic coupling that enhances Higgs mode. And this could be uh, 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 applied to the more exotic uh, superconductor, including, including time reversal symmetry breaking, non-central symmetric. And then a bunch of uh, corrective modes. So it's uh, so I would like to say this uh, low energy terrace nonlinear spectroscopy is a uh, 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 potential tool to study the uh, this uh, low energy structure that cannot cannot be accessed by the other method like Raman or even Arpes. And uh, at the last point, uh, last part, I uh, introduced some uh, result of the non equilibrium. So with that, let me uh, finish my talk. Thank you very much. You, you hear it, but I don't know. Oh, okay, well, now we have the speakers on. Uh, so we're recording, so uh, I'll ask people who have questions to speak into the microphone. Uh, questions? Lara. Okay, it's uh, about the last things that you showed about iron uh, selenite. So essentially you, you, you measure third harmonic generation in the usual way, then you send the pump, you see an increase of third harmonic generation. Yes. Okay, so you would say that instead of destroying superconductivity, it's like third harmonic generation signal is, is larger. This is what you, okay, but the, do you have any signature like this also? For example, did you try in iobium nitride to see something like this? Yes, I thought, I was first thought this is uh, some uh, character of the multiband, but we uh, tried the uh, same experiment in iobium nitride and we observed a similar behavior. Indeed. Yeah. So when you, when you add the pump, the third harmonic generation signal is increasing. Yeah, yeah. And, and the, the amount of increase is similar in iobium nitride? I mean, the relative increase is similar or somehow here it's larger? So can you compare we, we between are, the We two? have not uh, quantitatively compared the, the, this uh, 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 enhancement, but uh, we could see a very significant enhancement even for the iobium nitride. In the case of niobium nitride, this stage signal is uh, coming from the Higgs. Mm -hmm. So this means the Higgs is, a, most likely Higgs is enhanced uh, by the optical pump. This is not uh, trivial because uh, usually the optical excitation suppresses the superconductivity, but still it's enhanced. Okay, thanks. Andrea. Um, so thank you, this is very rich, very great. Um, the experiment in YBCO where you induce okay. this coherent state yep. by photodoping at, mm. at 800 nanometers, how sm what's the upper limit on the third harmonic? How much, so you can say there's no third harmonic, mm. uh, there's no th third harmonic up to some value. How much smaller is this confidence compared to the equilibrium zero temperature third harmonic? Okay, this is not third harmonic, uh, this is a TPOP signal. This is, I'm sorry. This is not sound harmonic, and uh, this is a terrorized pump optical probe. Like terrorized pump optical, okay. Yeah. But how much smaller 
is the error bar then the signal that, okay. that you so, would see at okay. zero temperature in so this, uh, uh, I, I skipped this graph. So uh, this shows the, the equilibrium uh, signal, and this shows the uh, uh, steep rise below Tc. And this uh, sigma 2 in no equilibrium, OK, here or here, uh, uh, if we uh, consider this is uh, uh, similar to the equilibrium superconductivity, we should expect uh, right. 40k or 20k superconductivity. So at least a factor of 10, or yeah. you, you can say. This is with the about. We don't and do you have a sense because, I'm sorry, just one quick question. Because you, of course, you observe, and we observe the infrequently in the C axis. You have this enhancement in sigma two that tells you that there's a pole at zero frequency somehow, yeah. but also sigma one goes up. Uh, yes. So there seems to yeah. be hot quasi particles. Are these hot quasi particles, whatever they are, expected to be detrimental for this uh, for this signature? Well, even if there is a case of quasi particle, uh, we should see this uh, uh, signal uh, in equilibrium. So I don't think it's so. Uh, suppress the, this uh, nonlinear signal, even if there is a case of particle. Now, we also tried this uh, uh, sodomic generation along C axis that is coming from the Joseph's plasma, as you showed. In, and we also see this uh, signal in the YBCO, but no TC signal uh, in the about TC for, for near infrared response. Thank you. We have uh, time for one more question, and I'll ask Derek to come up and uh, get his talk ready. Hi, I was just wondering, um, uh, before, uh, for, for the YBCO, um, <clears throat> uh, before you pumped it, you were uh, uh, kind of showing that some of the signal was Higgs and some of it was quasi-particles, but oh, it, okay. I, like I kind of didn't fully like, uh, like uh, see how you differentiated those two. All right, like it seemed like you, you already passed it for, for uh, the uh, YBCO uh, data that you showed at the oh, end. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, here, yeah. The quasi particle here I mentioned is a rather a standard, uh, uh, test excited, uh, incoherent case quasi particle effect. Yeah. So this is uh, uh, similar to the case of optical pump. And here you can see very uh, slight uh, two omega like component here. And there's two comp uh, contribution of this uh, coherent signal. One is a Higgs, and the other one is a uh, quasi particle. Yeah. This is uh, uh, for this YBC we don't. Uh, uh, distinguished, but anyway, this is from the superconducting order parameter. So, like, like uh, whether it's Higgs or quasi particles, both of those are related to, uh, to superconductivity. Exactly. So, yeah. uh, when you do the near IR pump, then it's telling you either. Way. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, we should move on. So, let's uh, thank Professor.